Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1. GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. A while back, I made a video about dipoles that were multiples or fractions of one half wavelength long from end to end. A viewer had asked me about that and um, something uh, to do with uh, d does the same rule apply to fractional lengths as multiple lengths and the short answer is no. But I, it just occurred to me that I'm thinking about an antenna already for this winter that I might want to put up which would uh, extend in coverage from 160 meters all the way up through well as high as the radio will go in my case I believe it's six meters it's the ICOM IC746 Pro uh, it might, maybe it covers 144 and 432 but that's that's getting a little bit too extremely high in frequency for this kind of dipole. How short can you make a dipole fed with open wire line or ladder line and expect it to perform reasonably well? Now when you feed a, a dipole with ladder line or low loss open wire line of any kind and that does not include TV ribbon, by the way. Um, they do have a line called window line, which is like enlarged TV ribbon with squares cut out of it that uh, more closely resembles true ladder line. Usually the spacing is about three quarters of an inch to an inch, or two centimeters thereabouts. How short can you make a random quote-unquote dipole antenna fed with at the center with such line and expect the uh, efficiency to be reasonable. There's no sharp cutoff. I, uh, there's, it's not like if you if you try to operate this antenna at 1.8 megahertz it'll work but if you try to operate it at 1.7 megahertz not only will you get into trouble with the FCC but it won't work. It's, it's not that kind of a situation. Uh, like 1.85 versus 1.80 megahertz. But my general thumb of rule is that if a dipole antenna measures at least one quarter of a wavelength long from end to end, that is half the size of a half wave dipole, then you can expect reasonably decent performance from it if it's up in the clear, reasonably high, and away from obstructions of various sorts. If you make such an antenna at least a quarter of a wavelength from end to end, or one-eighth wave on each side, you can expect reasonable performance from that frequency on up to Oh, the, say, let's just say for, for argument's sake, the top end, the high end of 10 meters or 30 megahertz thereabouts. So if I want to put up an antenna this winter, I'm thinking about putting up a 20 or 30 foot mast in the center of the roof of my house, guyed with um, nylon cord and fed with open wire line and I have enough room for an, for an 80 meter one half wavelength dipole, so I ought to be able to work 160 through 10 meters with that antenna, uh, even when the ladder line passes through a bit of snow and ice at the peak of the roof on the way to the apex of the antenna. I will I'll get I won't get into the design particulars because they can vary uh, according to whatever suits your needs, but. The, the, one of the more important aspects is that the antenna uh, elements, the sides of the antenna radiating element, should be symmetrical relative to the feed line. That is, it would be kind of an inverted V, but the, it should be fed at the center more or less 
symmetrically so that it's so that one side of the antenna is not closer to the feed line than the other side at any given point on the uh, on either side of the line or of the antenna the distance to the feed line should be the same so 20 feet from the center of the antenna on either side the distance in a straight line through space to the feed line any given point on the feed line should be the same you get my idea a symmetrical antenna will minimize line imbalances which could cause RF in the shack problems keeping the line away from metallic objects as much as possible will also help so that's my answer my short answer my approximate answer my thumb of rule you can make an antenna a dipole antenna as short as one eighth of a wavelength from end to end uh, from end to end on either side an eighth of a wave on either side or a quarter of a wavelength from end to end half the size of a full-size half-wave dipole ain't that a play on words and expect reasonable performance now we just have to see whether I have the physical ability to do it because I have not been well of late and unfortunately things are not looking particularly better we'll see expect a miracle expect that antenna to work expect me to make a lot of DX contacts on 160 meters expect the sky to fall Stan Gibalisco signing off W1GV saying 73 and so long which regardless of antenna type always translates in my native fist to did it da did da